What is up, you guys? Bolt ninety eight, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3's campaign. We have a bunch of phases come back, good and bad, and open combat missions only make up half of our campaign. So yes, we have tons of MW3 campaign content that I can't wait to get into, but before we get into that, guys, hit that sub button, please. It takes two seconds, and it shows the channel a lot of love. 91.6% of you guys are not subscribed, but you're watching, so please hit that sub button. If you decide not to hit it, let me know down below why, so next time you come to the channel, I can change your mind and hopefully get that sub. Anyways, let's get right into the content. First, we'll get into who this even campaign features, like who do we have coming into this campaign. It's going to feature Task Force 141. Farah, Shepard, Makarov, and obviously some more enemies and friendlies that we will meet along the way. Obviously, we've had Task Force 141 and the OG Modern Warfare 2. Here they are. We've also had Farah, Makarov, and Shepard in other games. Makarov and Shepard actually were in the OG Modern Warfare as well. While Farah didn't actually come into our Call of Duties until this latest Modern Warfare 2. So, I'm super excited to see where these characters go together. Obviously, we've had bits and pieces of this because, you know, Shepard runs Shadow Company. So, we kind of had know that these characters know each other but it would be super cool to see the campaign come full circle after modern warfare 2 so that actually brings us to our next points modern warfare 3's campaign will be taking place right after modern warfare 2 did where we obviously saw kate laswell debriefing the team over a drink at a local bar laswell tells captain price that general shepherd is still at large with his private military company shadow company likely protecting him obviously with this hint or this sort of information we know now that we will have two enemies makarov and general shepherd since we know that they're not together, General Shepard or Makarov, because Makarov sent a spy onto the plane at the end of the reveal event to essentially kill Shadow Company's leader during the exfil with the gas canisters. Where does this mission take place or where does the campaign take place? It's going to contain locals from Verdansk and other places around the globe. Obviously, we're used to seeing that, but where at in Verdansk? So, so far in these campaign reveals, we've seen places like the dam or even the soccer field where we had like a bunch of people running throughout the stadium that we believe is the soccer field from the original Verdansk map from Warzone 1. Anyways, we've also gotten big news about open hand combat or open ended combat, whatever you want to call it. Combat that you basically control. You do however you want and it's your mission. You do it. However, we just got word that half of these maps or missions are going to be linear, like a traditional campaign, and then half are going to be the open combat missions that we were talking about. If you're not familiar with the linear, basically linear is every Call of Duty campaign that we've ever had. You basically follow a CPU, the CPU will not go past you, or it will not go through a checkpoint without you. Now, what we were promised was open combat. Open combat missions were supposed to be where we could get a car and go eight crazy just go straight through everyone with a car run them over and missions done by like that however this is not going to be what we get we're getting half of this half of that half linear half open combat open combat missions as this blog post says basically you use different loadouts planning different paths through every operation it seemed like something you could do like speed trials through or something like to get the faster time through campaigns however after looking at it it does not seem like that's going to be the case because we do have half linear half open combat so you can't get a fast time if you know you're doing a linear mission you can't personally you just can't there's no way to speed a linear mission up but it's still cool maybe it doesn't seem as bad as it actually or isn't as bad as it actually seems we can only wait and see um, we obviously know that the mission that they showcased in their campaign reveal with the you know the rain and the zip line where we free we get to that door and free captain price we obviously see that that is a linear mission. They kind of wait. The CPU or AI in this moment kind of come around us and we just kind of do our thing, but it's not openly how we want to play. We don't get our own combat um, loadouts. We don't get, you know, self revised. We constantly have a team with us the whole way, at least through this first mission. Now, Obviously, it would be cool to see what missions we have open combat with and what ones we don't. But let me know down below, are you excited about linear missions? Are you excited about the new people coming back or the old people coming in? Um, and then let me know about Verdance. What are you excited to see that you didn't get to see you know, in Warzone or things you saw in Warzone that you want to see in this campaign? I'm super excited to you know, listen and hear what you guys got to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe, and share the video if you think it deserved it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.